Hi, I'm Trina Young, the Elvis News and Travel Examiner. Today I'm going to discuss with you the truth about Elvis Presley's gravesite. Most visitors to Graceland assume the Meditation Garden was built specifically in 1977 when Elvis died as a place for the burial sites of Presley and his family members. But in truth, the Meditation Garden was created over 10 years earlier at Elvis' personal request for a totally different reason. In his book, If I Can Dream, Elvis hairstylist Larry Geller said Elvis wanted a place at Graceland where he or anyone could go to be alone, to meditate or to converse in private. In the 60s, Elvis was on his own spiritual quest to uncover his life's true meaning and purpose. He also began the practice of meditation to help deal with the stress of his demanding career. As a result, Elvis decided to create his very own meditation garden at Graceland. It was constructed between October and December 1965 and included Italian marble statues and an elaborate fountain with multiple spouts and underwater lights. Larry Geller described the meditation garden as a, quote, place to go to get away from people or have a quiet chat. Elvis was quite proud of the garden, and we spent much time out there when we were in Memphis, unquote, said Geller. However, Elvis did not plan for the meditation garden to be his final resting place. In fact, Presley was originally buried at Forest Hill Cemetery in Memphis. However, on August 29, 1977, less than two weeks after Elvis was buried at Forest Hill, Memphis police became aware of a plot to steal Elvis's body and hold it for ransom. As a result, Elvis and his mother Gladys remains were moved to Graceland's Meditation Garden on October 7, 1977, for safekeeping. The large marble cross with the statue of Jesus and two angels was Gladys Presley's original monument at Forest Hill Cemetery. There is also a separate statue of Jesus with outstretched arms that was a gift to Elvis from his friends one Christmas. Without knowing it, Elvis had a hand in designing his own memorial. The epitaph on Elvis Presley's grave marker was written by Vernon Presley. As you can see, at the head of Elvis' tombstone is an eternal flame. It was placed there and paid for by a group of Presley's friends. Their names are inscribed on both sides of the marble base. The Eternal Flame inscription, written by Janelle McComb, reads, You gave yourself to each of us in some manner. You were wrapped in thoughtfulness and tied with love. May this flame reflect our never-ending respect and love for you. May it serve as a constant reminder to each of us of your eternal presence. In subsequent years, Presley's father and grandmother were also buried in the med meditation garden. There is also a memorial stone for Presley's twin brother, who died at birth, Jesse Garon Presley. How however, his remains are believed to be in an unmarked grave in a cemetery in Tupelo. On October 1, 2020, Lisa Marie Presley's 27-year-old son, Benjamin Keough, was buried here after he died by suicide on <clears throat> July 12, 2020. Ben was buried in an above-ground grave that sits on the opposite side of the burial plots of Elvis and his other family members. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications of my future videos. And make sure to watch this video next.